all right thank you once again for joining us today evening at matoka tv studio all right um the video you're about to watch right now apostle adam also review the deep secret on how to seek and unlock the deep secret in god and i show you this clip is going to bless your life so much all right over to you sir now so the activity the adventure that you must be engaged in in order to get a disclosure that activity is called seeking the face of god meanwhile you need to understand the symptoms that will suggest to you that you need a secret first of all the bible says that it is not given unto us to direct our steps so if you are about to take a decision about that will impact many years of your life bible teaches us not to take such a decision from your brain you must take it from secrets it must be disclosed it must be revealed if you walk that way your work will be established though a thousand falls by your side because you are operating by secrets you will be established under circumstances that other people that do not have the kind of access that you have will fail if they say okay everybody is divorcing <laughs> i'm not one of them because the wisdom through which i made selection was not from this world yes and for every wisdom of god there's a security there's an insurance policy that safeguards it against against invasion against against decay against 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 thieves it is safeguarded so when you walk by these secrets there's an assurance that you will survive every season every different time because all those parameters of changes in seasons and time have been factored into the integrity of the secret seeking the face of God the result of seeking the face of God is disclosure revelation that's the result I know that I need a secret because I have come to a point where I need to make a decision that will impact my future this kind of decision cannot be made aside from a secret there is something written in heaven concerning this particular aspect of my life that I need to access and when I so access it it will put me on the advantage there are decisions that people have taken that have put them on the disadvantage in several aspects of their life it is because secrets were not accessed are you still with me how do you seek the face of god because if we are going to access secrets we need revelations and revelations are natural results of seeking the face of god amen you know this year i don't want to assume that we know things Eh? let's start again building from the scratch so that each one of us can become strong in his own respect what are the basics in seeking the face of God if the business you are doing today it was God that led you into it eh? you should be able to survive recession survive contrary circumstances and situations that's how you know that God is involved our marriage with me and my wife our marriage has gone through several seasons several things have happened several challenges even a time came when i was posted away to lagos and because our primary assignment is in this town i cannot pack the whole house and go to lagos because my existence is not about me it's about that which god wants me to do and the primary platform location for that thing which god wants me to do is here so if the office puts me away my family will still remain here so that i'll be coming to where god has assigned me so we stayed apart for six years it's very difficult to run two homes you're running one somewhere running one somewhere else and you're supposed to be a father from a distance that is a proof that is one of the circumstances where that suggests that you need a secret many people came under that kind of pressure to split the home because of official um, demands and all of that and after three years that transfer led to the break of those homes however if you have access to secrets that which might seem as an advantage for the devil to take over the family can become the same situation that will be used to strengthen the family because there is a secret if you have a secret uh the result of you entering into different seasons will be different from someone else that does not have a secret second defense 
Now, please give me a microphone quickly. Let's take, because we are all Christians, we have been seeking the face of God for a long time. Let's find out what it means to seek the face of God. Because a secret must be revealed. A secret is not commonplace. It's not available on the surface. You cannot access it at face value. It is something you need to seek out. If the thing we are seeking out is in the natural realm, it should have been easy to seek it out. Maybe you sit down and then you try to flash back. Where did I keep my car key? Okay, when I came yesterday, I moved here, I ate here. And you can trace it back and find out where you... Because my driver's license is something that I always need to trace back to know where I kept it. Trace back. If it were in the natural realm, you can trace it back. But if it's in the spiritual realm, it's a different ballgame altogether. Yes, so where's the microphone? Look for anybody you like his face or her face. Give the person. And the question is, how do we seek the face of God? You have been a Christian for a long time. So um, this is your life. You should not be afraid to tell us your life. If you waste time and you cannot find the person, you yourself begin to answer. Yeah, so bro, in, what do we do if we want to seek the face of God? We are in need of secrets. Yeah, amen. Do you need to stand? Sit down. Enjoy yourself, okay? Thank you so much, sir. Yeah, we need to seek the face of God. We need secrets to run, secrets to operate. Okay. Isaac sowed in the land. God told him to sow in dry season. There was famine. He sowed in dry season. And in the same year, the Bible said he reaped an hundredfold. And the Philistines envied him. A man, he was mad because dry season, he went and was sowing seed. But in the same year, he reaped an hundredfold. And the Philistines envied him. He had God. Yes. In, a, in my only true understanding, seeking God has to do with deliberately um, asking God in the place of prayers um, and waiting for His answers. And how I see God most times is that I asking take time, God for something in the place of prayers and waiting for His answers. Answer. And most times He speaks to me the answers of the questions I ask Him in my secret place through the studies of the world, through visions of the night and two open visions that I see. You see, you have only helped us with 30% of my requests. There are many people here that have been seeking the face of God the way you are talking and they have not gotten feedback. If you are with me, if you raise your hand, and if, if I spoke your mind, so what are they doing wrong? Should I tell you something? Your answer is correct too, but it has not helped them because they are doing this thing, you see. They pray, show me my husband, show me my husband, show me my husband. <laughs> There's no feedback. Have you prayed that prayer? Don't see. Oh, you have missed an opportunity. <laughs> you, you have okay. Let's begin. Do you understand what I'm talking about? They pray too. They pray, but there's no feedback. Do you see? let me tell you something that is very fundamental? You know, in order to cook, you need fire, but it's not the fire that cooks, it's the heat that cooks. But fire. Will produce heat but if we have a way to produce heat without fire you will discover that we can cook without the flame any man any woman because i have studied the issue of seeking the face of god for a long time i wanted to see how i could teach to help believers to know how to tap into secrets and i found out that if you have not accepted the life of intercession the ministry of intercession as a baseline lifestyle it will be very difficult for you to access the mind of God. The average believer has not accepted the ministry of intercession, which is a basic ministry that we have been called into. Now, this is a, this has status quo in the spirit. Listen to me. The word justification is a legal register. It's a legal word. And justification means you are discharged and acquitted. It is our justification that makes us have the capacity through the blood of Jesus to stand before God boldly and without any form of inferiority any form of condemnation because of the testimony that is born in the spirit through justification you see so the effect of justification is that I can stand before God face to face the result of justification is supposed to be interaction with God talking with God talking talking so if your justification does not translate to communication you have missed a fundamental lesson in your intimacy with God your justification is a standing that you have with God on the account of the blood of Jesus that standing should translate to communication 
And so every believer has been called into the ministry of intercession. Alright? That's what we do. That's the life we live. If you check the apostolic community in the book of Acts of the Apostles, you are going to see the twofold, twofold ministry of the apostolic company. Peter was the one that said, we will give ourselves continually to the ministry of the word and the ministry of prayer. In fact, if you look into those two items critically, you will find out that the word of God comes into force when prayer is already in place. So the heaviest molecule of the Christian life is priesthood, is prayer. So if someone has not yet situated his or herself in the prayer base, your access of even revelations into the scriptures will be limited. So for many years, I decided to leave as an intercessor. If I'm going to travel from here to Jaws, I speak in tongues all through. Yes, that's the life. That's the lifestyle. I speak in tongues all through. That's why I like public transport. I just take my bag and I pay the price. And I get a comfortable seat. If they are sitting four in the middle row, I pay for two seats. <laughs> Glory. You say, God, this guy has money. I'm looking for a connection. And I begin to pray in tongues. I begin to pray in tongues. I begin to pray in tongues. By the time we get to Akwanga, I'm seeing things I did not ask God for. Many of you, I see you in the night. I see you. What I told you that day was not that day I saw it. I saw it in Gombe. Just in my own personal prayer with God, things will just start coming. Things will start coming. And if I'm asking God for, for something, that thing is harder to locate than the things I see. It's harder. So if you have not yet established your life on the bouncing burner called intercession, nothing will be cooked. Mm. There will be no heat. No heat sufficient to cook anything. So day in, day out, you'll be operating with the wisdom of man. Meanwhile, spiritual things must be revealed and secrets have been kept in the archives of God through which your life will be prepared through any season whatsoever. If we were running prayer meeting now, we won't be like this. You know, yesterday I said there's healing and miracle. Ah, they say, kind of. <laughs> what, but I'm telling you the truth. There's nothing else we are using to minister to anybody other than the fact that we are men of prayer it's in the place of prayer that i got that the spirit of death was coming into the hall today i did not get it yes it's in the place of prayer i picked it up because i'd like to see a meeting before the meeting so so this even the meeting exists in god's secret archive you can peep into it there were meetings where i came i already saw the meeting i already knew where an angel would stand so because i knew where the angel would stand when i finished i preached preached came to a point I told them that we can circle this place. I called one sister, stand there, she fell off. Call another one, stand there, she fell off. It's only me that knows why they are falling. <laughs> secret. Meanwhile, they think I'm a powerful man. All I have, secret. The reason why you are surprised is because you don't know what is happening. If I told you that COC, it will not look strange to you. But I'm the only one that knows the secret. I won't tell you. But you'll be seeing the manifestation of the secret. You can see somebody's life under the same circumstances the manifestation of his life suggests stability suggests strength that's the result of the secret he's working with please help me ask your neighbor what secret do you have full of henchmen are everywhere killing everybody it is a time you need secrets to survive if you have not yet accepted the call as an intercessor don't ask for too much your life won't be too different from what it is now uh, yes, the bouncing burner of intercession is what now puts you strategically in the place where you can now begin to access secrets. In my opinion, if you are not an intercessor, I don't think you are desperate enough for life. You are not, you are a comic, you are a comic cafe ego. You know, they do Batman and Superman. You are one of them. <laughs> but when you start getting serious, you now begin to intercede intercession is the, you see intercession is not as if you are praying for yourself you are praying god's prayers you are praying god's prayers you are praying god's prayers that is some of you the places that you are serving the offices you are serving you were just placed there as an intercessor to be offering incense often so that mad people will not use some of those platforms to bring the nation into abject poverty so you are standing there as a as we begin to operate as intercessors there's enough heat in our spirit so that if the Holy Spirit wants to bring secrets to us, 
it can easily come. Most of us decided to sign up for a serious prayer life when marriage was at the door. And so the reason why you are praying is because you want to marry. That prayer will receive no answer. It will even generate more confusion. Because you have forgotten step one, you want to enter into step three. You will be confused when you labor like that. You say, okay, I'm, I, I'm looking. As we finish with labor, then four people will come and say, God told me. <laughs> God told me. First of all, sign up as an intercessor. And the assessor is not looking for anything, he just wants to.